Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone watching, depending on where you are in the world. I know we have uh, audiences from all over the world, uh, whether you're watching live or the recording. Welcome to our episode number 22 of our weekly series, What's Your Spark? And today I'm here with Bella Grace from Florida, USA. Welcome to the show, Bella. Hi, how are you, Regina? It's so nice to be here. I am doing great here and I hope you too. And it's really wonderful to have you on my show. I am so blessed to have experienced your amazing work before. So I'm grateful you could make it today. So we were actually, yeah, we were actually supposed to, to uh, be on this already on the 21st of December, which was a magical date, of course. So I was very sorry we had to move the date. But unfortunately, I had to preventatively cancel because of my wrist accident yes. the, the day before, right? Yes. But this is show number 22, um, which is pretty magical because it, this is kind of the year of the twos, numerologically. Yeah. I'm kind of excited that we're doing it today. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> it worked out wonderfully. It exactly. Did. Yeah. So I'm tuning in from Miami and Florida today. And those who know me also know that I love to travel. And while I'm based in New York City, I'm passionate. I'm a passionate nomad. I'm always sort of nomading around. And uh, I have just been to seven states in the past few, uh, like seven, eight weeks or so. I'm uh, super thrilled to have Bella on so you can learn about her amazing spark, which I had the pleasure of experiencing twice already in wonderful <laughs> sessions. So please, everyone watching, hit that like button and share your comments and questions in the comment section. I'm expecting a lot of awesome questions for this interview because of the work Bella does. And if you're not catching us live, you can still ask your questions or uh, uh, place your comments in the, in the comment section, of course, after this live and uh, as you're watching the recording. This series is for anyone who loves to be inspired by other women who are contributing their spark, their insights, their creativity, their wisdom, their knowledge, and their stories to the world. Because we know that as we open up our minds to other people's ideas, to other people's stories and, uh, and experiences, we also open up new possibilities for ourselves. We get inspired, yes? And through these interviews with women around the world, we can grow with and from each other, be inspired to find our own spark, go deeper with it, maybe explore more of it. Because I believe that all of us deep down, we want to live more fulfilled lives, more passionate lives, more purpose-driven lives, more impactful lives. And you are meant to sparkle with your brilliance, whether you're an employee, an entrepreneur, business owner, whatever your situation is. Today, as I said before, I have the absolute pleasure to Welcome and introduce, and introduce you to Bella Grace from Florida. Bella and I met through a mutual friend who was on this show before with me as well, Susan Davis, uh, who I'm eternally grateful for for so many things. <laughs> and I think we both agree that Susan is an, a, a wonderful uh, person in our lives. Wonderful. She's been my inspiration for right. years. I've known her for about 12 years, and she's really had a great uh -huh. impact on my life. Yes. And uh, yeah, so and, and uh, now about you, Bella. You are a certified quantum hypnosis practitioner at Bella Grace Quantum Healing, and your work is just amazing. As I said before, I've experienced it before. Are you ready now to take the spotlight and shine, Bella? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm, you I'm are. The thing of this, I think today <laughs> is one of the first times, first live interviews I've done. So hopefully everyone will bear with me a little bit as I kind of go through my story. Um, but my spark really came as a single mom. Mm -hmm. um, I found myself kind of up against a wall. My son was going to enter the school system um, into mm -hmm. kindergarten, and I realized that. I wasn't excited about that. I wanted mm -hmm. to not have him in daycare. I wanted to take control of his education, what he was eating. I wanted to 
uh, form him into an awakened soul that he is as a star seed. Mm -hmm. So I had to um, make some decisions and kind of take a leap of faith and start my own businesses from home. It was very scary, and I'm not going to say it was easy. <laughs> there, was, there, there still are so many bumps yeah. in the road. Um, but this, I started off before I even began the quantum hypnosis. I did st open up a vintage clothing business with resale. I would flip clothes, you know, that I would find in various places yeah. um, and sell them. And I still have that business today, but I needed to do something more. And I did come in awakened kind of with a lot of knowledge about myself spiritually. And I wanted to use that to help others. There was a strong push to, to do that, to use that, um, the gifts so I became certified in one form of quantum hypnosis back in 2012, and I'm now certified in four modalities um, of the same type of work. Um, at the time, I was doing readings, which I'm not really doing right now, and I've expanded into working with pets, which is another thing. However, um, yes, and now I am just enjoying um, the spark comes from helping others. My clients, I have both men and women clients, and it is mm -hmm. such a joy to help them solve mysteries. Every session is so unique. And what I try to do is structure my sessions using the four modalities I know and kind of tailor them, combine them, and tailor them mm -hmm. to each client and what their needs are. And every session is like a big treasure hunt. We go off and learn. We can visit past lives. We can explore their soul purpose. And it's such, it's a big rush. It's like that spark when you do that, when you find out and you're opening a whole new world for the client. So I guess that's, that's what it would be. Yeah, that is so amazing. And, uh, you know, I studied also several different modalities where we can mm -hmm. go back into uh, past or parallel lives or, you know, whatever, depending on people's beliefs also, right. what that would even look like or, you know, in other parts of our current lives or whatever, right? And and I know Susan does some of that work as well. Yes, exactly. Studied some of it with her and then also other modalities where we do it a little bit more indirectly, like Theta Healing or Body mm -hmm. Talk. And it's just fascinating once you move into those realms especially for healing purposes, because we mostly do it for that purpose, right? We do, because yeah. that exploration, for example, a lot of people have recurring patterns, like in mm -hmm. relationships, say, right. you keep dating or marrying the same person, you know, just in a different body, mm -hmm. or you find that you have habits that you want to break, or mm -hmm. phobias, um, to some extent, even addictions, it just depends on the person. But these are um, more often than not rooted somewhere in the past life experience, mm -hmm. all life experience. It can be, it embeds into the cell memory. You, you kind of, mm -hmm. whether you believe in reincarnation or past lives, whatever that is, you are a soul and, mm -hmm. and you've always existed as a soul. You've, you've existed for millions of years as a soul. So whatever experiences you had before incarnating here can really, really be affecting your journey right now. And this is such an important time. I think there's never been a more important time to do that clearing, to do that um, self-discovery and, you know, just kind of, kind of take advantage of the beautiful energy that's coming in. Everything is changing. I'm sure you know that too. Um, all this energy is coming in. We're on a beautiful timeline where the opportunities whether it's to start a business, a family, whatever it is, or just like they're all there for the taking. Mm -hmm. So it's so exciting to be able to help people clear and reach that point where they can access all that exciting potential. Right. And it's all about raising human consciousness at this point. And it doesn't always look like it, right? When we look around us, it looks quite no. the opposite. But we of course, we know that people are waking up everywhere all over the world in so many senses, yes, not just the, they're waking up to what's really going on in the world. They're waking up to other, uh, other dimensions of spirituality of you know of their own power of their inner power as i call it mm -hmm. and uh, their their unlimited potential and we don't learn these things in school so it's really really important to explore on our own 
And as you also, sorry, <clears throat> mentioned with your son, sometimes we have to go or have to walk on a different path uh, mm -hmm. than, the, than the one that is sort of already predetermined for us, right? That is not always right. Okay. And uh, you already explained how you found your spark and mainly through <laughs> your son's situation, right? And yeah. now uh, let us know a little bit more about how you are making an impact through your spark. What does that look like? And okay. how does your spark find its expression in your work? Uh, yes, I'm curious. Yeah. Okay, I hope I'm making an impact. Um, we, that remains oh, yes. to be seen. Oh, and, yes. Yeah, and so um, I suppose making the impact a lot like what I had said about helping people to clear those old patterns. Um, oftentimes there is so much, we feel so much resistance when we're ready to take on something new, especially anything pertaining to entrepreneurship. We're always we're programmed to believe that we have to like work for someone else or that we, we have to follow somebody else's lead. And when the impact I think that's being made, most of my clients, I'd say like 90% of them, for some reason, the ones that are drawn to me are entrepreneurs. They're people that are kind of following their own path, let's say. Okay. So the impact I think I'm making is helping them clear the way and allowing, for example, their sole purpose to come through in a session when we would talk with what is the higher self or the self without all the chatter in the way in that state of relaxation, that divine purpose that you came in with, that sole purpose is released and, and people are hearing things, for example, that they never knew. So that's impactful right there, that they could leave a session with fresh ideas or feeling more confident um, that they can undertake a project or something that they were afraid to do before. The releasing yes. of fear is a very, very big part of this work. Huge. Yes. So, and then maybe being an example to other moms to a certain extent. I mean, I am, we all are still, you know, kind of climbing the hill a bit um, to get where we need to be, but hopefully inspiring others um, to take that leap, to try something on their own, you know, again, to dispel that fear that might be in the way. Right. Yes. The fear <laughs> that oftentimes blocks us or yeah. it, it, uh, for some people it's even paralyzing, but uh, hopefully, hopefully not for anybody who's watching today and you can all move <laughs> through your fears and do it anyway and find the courage to really express your spark. That is really wonderful. Uh, Abella, thank you so much for sharing your yes. beautiful spark yes. and your beautiful light. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to talk to you. So where can people find you? You have your LinkedIn profile, of course. Thank any you. website, any any other place? I do. I have a website um, and it is Bella Grace Q H H T um, at dot org. Bella Grace okay. Q H H T dot org. Okay. And also I have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. which is called Bella Grace Past Life Regression. And that's a good place to go to see kind of a variety of different styles of sessions and get a feel for maybe what the work is about. They're just little, um, sometimes the client will allow that to be published and anonymously. And I share portions of a session um, online so that the client, the potential clients can get an idea of what to expect. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so definitely anybody watching, check it out. Uh, I and subscribe to her YouTube channel for sure. <laughs> and uh, you, you can do that as well. And, uh, you know, watch the videos, give them a like if you appreciate the content and definitely give this post a like and ask your questions a way uh, Bella can also come back and answer your questions later if you, if you watch the recording. So we can all, you know, uh, follow up for sure. And of course, you're also welcome to connect with her on LinkedIn. Right, Bella? Yes. I'd like to say one more thing to everybody yes. who's listening. Um, and this is a very general statement, but right now we're in kind of a crazy place, um, both in history, energetically, just everything we're seeing mm -hmm. happening around us. And I know a lot of us are watching from different parts of the world where it's vastly different from one place or another, like where we are in Florida right now, Regina, we know it's quite different even than it is in other parts of the country. Yeah. But we have to try to disconnect from 
a lot of the fear programming and a lot of the negativity that we're seeing on the media and just coming at us from different places, it's really important to realize that a lot of that the negative, some seemingly, well, definitely negative things that we're seeing right now are helping to kind of shake things up a little bit. And there's a lot of beautiful stuff coming behind that. And keep your eyes on the positive things, keep your confidence up and just don't get enmeshed in the negativity um, that's kind of being thrown at us in every yes. direction at the moment. It's just really important. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, the, 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 well, one piece of it is that great awakening of uh, of humans and and there's a lot more also more creativity people are becoming yeah. so creative about creating new ways of doing things about creating yeah. you know finding new ways of growing food of healthy food of other types of businesses that are you know that are just more ethically based and and whatnot right the, there's no limit to to our creativity and to our imagination. And I think that's mm -hmm. something that we are definitely seeing. Thank you yeah. so much for that, for that thought. I appreciate that very much. So before we close this session, I am as always quickly sharing my spark as a multicultural transformational leadership coach. I help women employees achieve their next career goal through coaching so they can fulfill their potential. And of course, also increase their income, increase their influence and their impact, and therefore live a more fulfilled life and a more purpose-driven life. Now, every Wednesday, and that will be also today at 2 p.m. Eastern, I have a 60-minute live show on Win Win Women. To watch, just go to winwinwomen.com and follow the instructions to get to my show. No need to pre-register. There's also no 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 option to pre-register. Just go there at 2 p.m. Eastern and watch. And there's also there are also uh, recordings of my past shows there. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Bella, and to all the Thank beautiful you. souls. Yeah, Thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. Thank you so much. And thank you all the beautiful souls watching. As always, we trust this show has inspired you to uncover and express your spark fully and full your, fulfill your potential <laughs> in this way. And please do click on like, share your thoughts in the comments, share your questions, share this post, the recording of it. Uh, you can also share it through YouTube and watch again on YouTube. I will I will post the recording there as well shortly. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, feel free to subscribe to Bella's YouTube and to my YouTube channels so that you can actually also uh, see all upcoming videos and more free resources. I'll... Uh, so I'll be here again next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern as almost every Tuesday with another surprise guest. And I'll see you all then. I wish you all a beautiful rest of your day. Yeah.